Hi there, everyone. You might have been asking where I've been. Um, so I've been on holiday and um, I had to rush through another NSC 7 to renew my NSC 4, 5 and multiple NSC 6s um, because of the changes that are taking place um, with the uh, Fortinet exams. Um, so yeah, if you... Um, You've got certifications, make sure that you're aware of the changes that are coming on the 1st of October. Um, this video is going to be uh, just about the security fabric. Um, I've got some um, interesting ideas about future videos. Um, I think I'm going to build a fairly large ADVPN solution across public cloud providers, a couple of on-prem, because I've got a couple of boxes stacked up here at the minute. Um, over the next few weeks and I might look at um, Forti Manager and using provisioning templates effectively, um, that kind of thing as well. Um, so what is a security fabric? Um, well, it's essentially a, a cheat code to linking some of your devices um, together. Um, so the ability to... Um, take telemetry from one device to another, um, have security policies sync with each other, so create uh, an address object on the security fabric route. Um, it will push the address object down to the uh, spokes, as I call them. Um, in 40 OS 7.2 and 7.4, um, you can build um, a mini ADVPN based solution as well um, without Forti Manager, just a security fabric. So we will probably look at that as well. Um, one of the issues and the design limitations with that is that you cannot do dual hub at the moment. You can only do single hub. Um, and anyone that's um, ever deployed ADVPN will tell you that um, um, single hub isn't isn't a good idea really um, you rock up to one of the sites you unplug it um, all the root reflection goes away so definitely de recommend um, dual hub but um, let's let's get going here so to configure a security fabric left on pane fabric connectors surety fabric setup edit mine's pre-populated um, so this device here is going to be the root um, allow over a fat security fabric device to join. Um, this is, um, so I'm, in my case, I'm using the the WAN interface. Um, the truth is, is that there's an ATF and a 60E connected up to a Cisco 2960X switch. Um, they can't actually speak, they don't actually have internet connectivity or anything like that. They're just connected um, to demonstrate this video. Uh, you need to define a fabric name. Um, don't don't care about having 40 cloud enforcement on that basically just uh mandates that they need to be inside the same 40 cloud account um i'm not if i'm being honest with you i'm, I'm not a big fan of this whole 40 cloud account sync um it it does cause problems for, for partners specifically when one partner wins business from another partner and the other partner's got 40 cloud Forty Manager Cloud, um, and certainly with Flex VM as well, it, it can cause some problems. Um, not really a big fan of it. Um, Fabric Global Object. This is the ability for the synchronization of the policies to take place. So, create an address object here. Will it sync to the downstream devices? We're saying that we would like that. Saml single sign-on. Um, it for the root. It's actually mandated now. Um, so the root has to be the IDP. Uh, I'm just using the Fortinet factory certificate, uh, and then I've left the IDP address. So the, the the following settings: IDP address, manage use the management IP, management IP fully qualified domain name, use one IP, management port, use the admin port. So that's the root configured. So now if we jump over to the secondary, we shall configure that device as well. So again, left hand pane on the secondary device, fabric connectors, security fabric setup. 
edit, join existing fabric, use the, the WAN interface that's going to be able to speak to the, um, the root device. Um, as part of a, a lot of the consultancy that I do, um, ADVPN solutions, uh, use loop, I use loopbacks on all of the devices. I, di I, re I, re I redistribute the loopback addresses into BGP. I share it across this, um, the fabric, and I, I basically create a, a management plane that I, I use for um, security fabric um, association, let's call it. Um, so, um, one water, so join, join one one, the upstream Fortigate IP. So the, the address of the ATF that we just configured as the route is 192.168.1.5. Um, single, SAML single sign on auto. Um, the, the downstream devices or the non route, uh, service providers or SPs, um, normal uh just giving it super admin for this lab um and the management ip or the fully qualified domain name has been set as uh 192.168.1.3 which is how i'm logging into the device at the minute uh, and i'm not using any uh thing specific around management port i'm not using a different um port number or anything like that. I'm just using the default 443. So you click OK on that. Um, what would happen is you would receive a prompt on your primary device. Uh, this little bell icon up here would go red. You'll be able to go in there and essentially authorize the, the, the secondary device. So you might ask yourself, well, what what advantage does this give me? So if I, I'm now back on the root device, the ATF, if I go to uh, policy and objects and addresses, create a new, um, I can simply go to you know test address object sync. I'm just gonna do something silly. Cloudflare has DNS, but it doesn't matter. I'm just testing it. Any interface. Now, if I create that, go over to the secondary device. I think I might need to tick this box, actually. And you can see that the check address object sync has been created, has been created or pushed down to the secondary device as part of the security fabric. Uh, a couple of other things that I'll just show you quickly. Um, if you go to fabric connectors, logging and analytics, um, one of the key things that is a is mandating as a requirement to actually be able to create a security fabric um, if you've done your studies is um, you need a 40 analyzer so the 40 analyzer that has been defined on the route gets automatically pushed down to any secondary device in the security fabric um, i've not authorized it because i don't want to hit any licensing issues um, but it's also the same for 40 manager uh, if that's the case I don't have one, um, but the manager configuration would get pushed down from the primary as well. As you can see, getting settings will be retrieved from the root Fortigate in the security fabric. So to summarize, um, super efficient way of um, getting configuration to lots of devices um, moving forward as well. Um, Fortinet seem to be adopting a model where you potentially don't need the 40 manager to build the IPsec VPN mesh or ADVPN. Um, there's some interesting um, enhancements in 7.2 and um, 7.4 regarding that. And I, if I'm being honest with you, I'll probably create a video specifically about making um, 
uh, an ADVPN mesh without a Forti manager just using the security fabric configuration. Um, as always, thanks for tuning in. Quick video. Lots of videos going to be coming now that the exams are out of the way. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what videos you want to see, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.